let's say you're solving the last four edges and every set is a is bad and when i say bad i mean the wings surrounding the midge are from different families so as you can see here these three are different these three they're all different again and again what people normally do is m prime e2 m and that always guarantees one or two checkered or good pairs in this case we get two checkered pairs by doing that but i think we can do slightly better than that we can do m2 u2 m2 and that and that can always solve four good pairs or four good or checkered pairs what you need to do is you need to compare two sets of edges and you need to find two wing midge pairs that match so as you can see here i have blue orange blue orange and here red yellow and red yellow and so i have two of these and that means the ones on the bottom they have that same property so if i do m2 u2 m2 then i'll get four good or checkered pairs as you can see here i have three good pairs and one checkered there, there are three cases in the first case i showed you there are two of those wing midge pairs that match but sometimes you only have one and when you have one what you do is you you look you find that midge and you abandon you leave this set alone you try to find the other set containing wing that matches this piece so if i look here it's it's down here and from here that means we have we, ha we, we will have two wing midge pairs that match and the same on the bottom. So from here, I just do M2, U2, M2. However, if, it, if, if I didn't see it here, then obviously it has to be at the, over here. And all I need to do is D2 and then M2, U2, M2. And in this case, I happen to get four good pairs. The last case is a rare case, I think, in where you don't have these midge wing pairs. All you have is these two uh, wings that match. What you do here is you just do X or X prime, and then M2, U2, M2. And, and here I get three good pairs and one checkered. 